Hey viewers, welcome back. This is Eli the Obity Tech. I'm going to be working on this 2005 GMC Sierra 1500 5.3 liter engine. It's going to be a little qu quick short video based on verifying a heater circuit problem on this Bank 1 Sensor 1 O2 sensor. It currently has three codes based on this Bank 1 Sensor 1 O2 sensor. But most of the time, whenever you see a P0053, most likely it's going to be a bad heater a uh, bad heater circuit on the O2 sensor let me show you the other two so it's P0134 there you go there's a description on that code and the last one is P0135 there's a description the last one is a bank 2 knock sensor circuit low I'll probably do another video based on that code we'll see I'm not sure but like I said most likely it's going to be a bad heater circuit on the O2 sensor. So I'll be verifying with you guys real quick by showing you guys pretty much an open circuit. And then I'll show you guys a known good with the brand new one and show you guys what a known good resistance should be like. All right, so let's go out there and show you guys real quick and verify this potential problem. But before we do that, let me show you guys data. Show you guys that this sensor on bank one sensor one is pretty much not doing anything. It's pretty much showing the bias voltage. So let me set up the uh, data real quick and I'll come back. All right guys, so with the key on engine off, all four O2 sensors are showing pretty much the bias voltage. This is pretty much a given for any GM vehicle. 0 0.445, 0 0.440. But that's pretty much the bias voltage that you'll see with the key on engine off or when the vehicle it's an open loop and once it starts to go so once it goes into closed loop then you'll see the bank one sensor one and bank two sensor one o2 sensors start fluctuating so let me show you guys real quick what's happening here so with the vehicle at idle So pretty much once the uh, O2 sensors start getting warm, as, as you saw on bank 2 sensor 1, it's already fluctuating. Bank 1 sensor 1, still stuck at the bias voltage 0 0.445. So it's pretty much not doing anything here. What if I rev it? You saw bank 2 sensor 1 went up to rich condition, 0.8. But bank one sensor one still stuck at 0.4. There you go. No action on bank one sensor one. So that just pretty much confirms the our problem it is a faulty upstream O2 sensor. Like I said, most likely a bad heater circuit. It's not heating up this O2 sensor to allow it to warm up quick and start fluctuating and reporting rich and lean conditions back to the PCM all right so let's go out there and show you guys real quick I forgot to mention one more thing that it's not always a bad O2 sensor for the heater circuit portion of it sometimes on some manufacturers they will put a fuse for your O2 sensor so don't overlook that make sure to check the fuses for this truck it does have two fuses as you can see here fuse number three and four which are located here in this area so three and four they're 15 amps which is right here 15 and 15 i rechecked them they're good these two fuses are the ones that provide the power to your heater circuit these these can all sometimes get blown or cause a faulty connection so make sure to check that too all right so i've already disconnected the harness from the upstream O2 sensor, which is bank one sensor one, which is right here in this location, the harness connector. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's right here. That's the harness connector. I've already, like I said, disconnected it for purpose of checking the resistance on the heater circuit. I'm pretty sure on this one, we will be getting some type of a no continuity. So I'll be pretty much uh, front probing those two black wires 
the always the one that has the same two colors is what always be, it, it's, it's always going to be your heater circuit so I'll be uh, like I said from probing these two pens with my two leads I'll be checking the resistance all right all right guys so as you can see my two leads already being foam probed those two pins which leads to those two black wires which is your heater circuit this is our ohm reading which is pretty much showing OFL so that just proves that this upstream filter sensor is no good that's the reason why we're gaining on the scan tool data uh, 0 0.445 voltage it's pretty much not fluctuating as it supposed to warm up it's stuck at a bias voltage so the next step to this you know I'm gonna compare it to a known good which I already bought for the customer a brand new upstream upstream all two sensor for bank one sensor one all right all right guys so I'm gonna show you guys a known good this is the brand new Denzel upstream all two sensor bank one sensor one so I'll be using the ohm meter. I'll be front probing the two black wires, which is right there. Those are your heater circuits, and see the difference. On this one, we, we will get some type of continuity. So let me set up and I'll show you guys real quick. All right guys, so with the two black wires front probe, with the two leads here, the red and the black, this is pretty much our continuity right here. Showing about 5.3, 5.4 ohms. So that's a known good right there. And that's, and we saw that on our faulty one, we were getting no continuity whatsoever. All right, so the next step is just to go ahead and install it and then show you guys the scan data. Show you that this brand new one will start fluctuating compared to the other one that was only showing about zero 0.445 pretty much the bias voltage all right all right guys final fix newly installed upstream all two sensor on bank one sensor one key on engine off this is your voltage i'm gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle on There you go. Bank one sensor one starting to fluctuate. No longer sitting at 0 0.445. So that's pretty much your fix. This is Eli Diobody Tech. Subscribe if you like.